Hello guys, good night here. Um, this will be my first ever Succession Musa Guide. Ever since I played the Succession class on February 9, 2021. I think it was my first time playing Succession Musa. And to be honest, there has been a lot of you guys who has been asking um, how to play uh, Succession Musa, what's the combo, what's the PvP, uh, how do you do this, how do you do that. So for this video, I think I'll be showcasing everything I know so far. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a professional in the Succession Musa class, but I'll try to showcase everything that I know about this class. So. Stay tuned guys. Okay guys, first things first, if you're gonna play Musa, uh, the first thing you have to do is go to your menu, click the settings, click interface settings, then the first one you'll see is like action hotkey. Scroll all the way down till you see this, the hotkey evasion for W, W. Uh, the first thing you have to do is insert the mouse function on it like right now I have one which is my first mouse button and just apply and confirm uh, what it does is we have a skill named chase so basically to you to use it you have to press RMB or WW uh, the other way to use it is by doing that then just pressing the key bind that you just put it on so you can like bash wherever you want. So it's just a good quality of life thing. And that's the first thing you have to do. Okay. Okay guys for skills. Uh, these are the skills that I take. So basically you need around like 2500. I actually spent like 2500 to get all the skills. Well, I do have all of them, some of them are not needed. Uh, for example, Dragon Claw and Lunar Slash. There's actually no use for them. So you just keep them locked or just don't take the skill at all. Uh, the next one you have to lock are a Blunt Kick and Swift Kick. Although they do have CC, uh, there's actually like no use for them in Musa combo and also lock range stress uh, rage transfer and the other absorption because this one only gives like attack speed like increases your attack speed for 25 seconds actually not that good for skill enhancement uh, it's a must to take Musa spirit quick shot then for the third one Although I prefer Gale Slash for its range CC, like if I ever hit someone very far, it's actually a good skill. Or you can take Storm Slash, which is a forward guard with heavy damage, although it's up to you. I don't actually prefer uh, Storm Slash for some reason, because with Gale Slash you can do this. So yeah. For add-ons, uh, these are the add-ons that I take. I take attack speed on both Gale and Dragon Bite because they're the most used skill for Musa succession. And the reason why I'm taking evasion rate on Gale because uh, Prime evasion rate, Prime Gale already has minus evasion, and there are still a lot of evasion classes out there, so it's just good, good to have. Uh, for Carver, Carver already has a minus 15, minus 20 DP, and it's also a spammable skill. So I just added like all minus DP, so whenever I use it and it hits, it stacks more minus DP. Also, the accuracy rate, since it's spammable, you'll, you'll always like have this before you start your combo. Um, for backstep slash, backstep slash already has an innate 
uh, movement speed for like 50%. So having like another 10% on movement speed, attacks and casting speed, yeah, you know, just whenever you have someone you're trying to chase or someone you don't want chasing you, uh, it's just a good debuff. For blooming, as you can see, blooming already has a hundred percent critical rate, so you, you're probably asking why do I need the crit hit rate for blooming? Uh, it's pro it's for my other skills because as you can see, Gale doesn't have much accuracy. Uh, not accuracy. Uh, crit hit rate. Also, as my other skills, so it's just like good to have critical hit damage basically because it's a hundred percent crit hit. It's good to have. Uh, Rising Storm. Rising Storm already has the plus 20 DP uh, innate on it, so if you hit someone, yeah, you get extra 20 more DP. And it's probably because I'm using DR. Uh, I'm a DR stock Musa. So yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, where is it? Three in mind. This is what we call the blue buff. Basically, it's the skill that gives uh unlimited skill on certain skills for Musa like Blooming, Gale, uh, Rising Storm Blaze, and Cyclone Slash. So since it has like a lot of skills I'll just probably list it somewhere on the screen for you guys to see but basically it's Debite, FBT, Retaliation, Mountain Divide and also Cyclone Slash. You can also get it from Musa Spirit, both of them. And Flame Rush. So that's all the skill that gives Sir in mind. Also backstep slash. Okay guys. Uh for the Magna skill Mountain Divide, you can actually. Uh, this is the normal casting speed for Mountain Divide. So, as you can see, it takes pretty long to wind up. But you can cancel animation it by using these skills Chase into Mountain Divide, Gale into Mountain Divide, Retaliation. Rising Storm, Flame Rush, Backstep Slash, and Arrow Grapple. And also all types of arrows. Normal Arrow, Charge Arrow, Side Arrow. You can all flow it with Mountain Divide. Oh, by the way, for the chase, you have to do a forward chase because if you do a backward chase, you end up using the slow animation. So you have to be worried about that. Uh, you don't use backward chase when you do you know, when you want to cancel animation the mountain divide. You have to always use forward. Okay, for gale cancels, uh, it's chase into LMB RMB. Dragon Bite, Backstep Slash, Forward Blind Chuss, Carver, Retaliation, and Blooming. And now for Blooming, it's almost the same. It's FBT, uh, Carver, Backstep Slash. Blind Slash Retaliation And Gale And Divider Also Chase into Blooming uh, hmm. I guess for the next part I'll be showcasing how to do PvP using our, our main catches like Debite Carver, Arrows, uh, FBT, 
and how to like position yourself around people since are only like protected like iframes it's just once every three seconds and uh, a basic arrow which is like every seven seconds so most of the time you'll be on SE and you want to keep it that way while also like dodging and weaving like people's damage anyways I'll just put it in a video and explain it there <laughs> What you came for, blood on the game bow Everybody drop it like rainfall uh, This is your moment, eyes on a puppet Can't think, chest just open And you're singing your praises, la 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 Screaming your name, la 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 One more step, you're immortal now Cause once you play God questions like uh, something you might be confused on maybe I missed something while doing this guide like explaining stuff uh, I do read the comments so be sure to leave a comment like if you have any more questions then I'll be happily answering them or I could make uh, another follow-up on these videos sometime in the future and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Wow.